Okay, for problem three, the objective again is to solve the following word problem. So on July 6, 2010, the daily high in Las Vegas, Nevada was 107 degrees Fahrenheit. On the same day, the daily low in McMurdo, Antarctica was negative 12 degrees Fahrenheit. What is the difference between the two temperatures? Okay, so this is uh, kind of a problem you need to think about for a minute. So what's important here? Let's go through and highlight some things that are important. So the daily high in Las Vegas on this particular day was 107 degrees. And the daily low in McMurdo on this particular day is negative 12 degrees. And then the question here, moving into step two, what is the difference between the two temperatures? Well, let's look at this little number line that I have here. And we've seen a number line before. This will be, I'm going to write this as zero. And I'm going to go in increments of 10. So this will be, let's say 10, 20, 30, 40. So 107 would be something like right here. Something like that. We'll put this as 107. And going to the left of zero, you'd have negative 10, then negative 20, so on and so forth. We don't need to go very far because we need negative 12, and that's going to be about right here. So that's going to be negative 12. Now, if I look at this number line and I say, what's the difference between basically negative 12 and 107 on the number line? I want to find what is, what is the difference between these two values on the number line? Well, to find that, what I need is I need to go from negative 12 to 0 on the number line. That's a movement of 12, 12 units. And then I need to go from 0 to 107 on the number line. So that's a movement of 107 units. So when I add these two amounts together, I get 119. Okay, so using a number line, I can see that that's the difference between those two values. Now, if we think about this in terms of when you hear difference, you're always going to be thinking subtraction. Because what you have here, and I'm just going to scroll down a little bit, is you have the difference between 107 and negative 12. So to find this, we're doing 107 minus a negative. And remember I told you, whenever you subtract away a negative, it's like adding a positive. So this is really equal to 107 plus 12, which again is 119. Okay, and I'm using the number line here to just visually represent what's going on and why this is the case. It's because to find the difference between these two values, again, you're going to go from negative 12 to 0 and then from 0 to 107. And so you need to add those two, two amounts together. Right, so our answer for this problem is going to be 119. So I'll write a nice little sentence and say that the difference... is 119 degrees Fahrenheit. Now to check something like this, again this problem isn't very long, we're told that the high in Nevada is 107 degrees, the low in McMurdo, Antarctica is negative 12 degrees, and again we want the difference between the two temperatures, so it's just 107 minus a negative 12 and that gives us 119. Okay, for example, four, the objective is again to solve the following word problem. And so we have Acme Shoe Store marked $6 off of the price of each pair of shoes in stock. If the store has 220 pairs of shoes in stock, what is the total reduction in price? This is a pretty simple one here. Let's get a little highlighter action going and we'll highlight the important things. So we're told that the store marked $6 off of the price of each pair of shoes in stock. And now if the store has 220 pairs of shoes in stock, and I'm going to switch highlighters here and I'm going to highlight the key question now, what is the total reduction in price? So how can we set this problem up? Well, we know that they mark $6 off the price of each pair of shoes in stock. So what does that really mean? Well, it means that, let's say I have a pair of shoes that's $10, and I mark $6 off the price, so I can either 
add negative six or I can subtract six, the new price of the pair of shoes would be four dollars. Pretty simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to represent the reduction in price, that value for each pair of shoes, as just negative six. Okay, so this is our reduction in price. Now, the next thing is that the store has 220 pairs of shoes in stock. So if I multiply here the reduction in price for each pair of shoes times the total number of pairs of shoes that the store has, so times 220, and we'll just put inventory amount. If I multiply these two numbers together, it's going to give me the total reduction in price. Because again, the, the store is marking $6 off the price of each pair of shoes in stock, and the store has 220 total pairs of shoes in stock. So simply we multiply negative 6 by 220, and we'll have our total reduction in price. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think we can kind of do this in our head. We have a negative times a positive. We know that's negative. Now we have a trailing zero here. Okay, we have a trailing zero here. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 6, because we've already accounted for the negative, we're going to multiply 6 times 22. So we do that as 6 times 20, that's 120, and we add to that 6 times 2, that's 12. So this is 132, and then what we do is we attach a trailing 0 to the end here, and we get our answer. It's going to be negative 1,320, and we're going to put dollars, because that's the total reduction in price. So the reduction or the total reduction in price is $1,320. And again, to check something like this is pretty simple. The store marks $6 off the price of each pair of shoes in stock, and we clearly represented that with this negative six here. And the store has 220 pairs of shoes in stock. So to get the total reduction here, we just multiply the reduction for each pair of shoes times the total number of pairs of shoes. And negative six times 220 is negative 1320. So that's gonna be our total reduction in price. Okay, for example five, again, the objective is to solve the following word problem. So during a cold day in Provo, Utah, the temperature fell seven degrees Fahrenheit each hour for five hours. We want to represent the total decrease in temperature over the five hour period as an integer. So this is really, really simple. Go ahead and get our highlighter out here and just highlight the fact that the temperature fell, okay, it fell seven degrees Fahrenheit each hour for five hours. And then what we're told to do is to represent the total decrease and temperature over the five hour period as an integer. So when we think about a decrease, we think about a negative number. So if we have the temperature fell seven degrees, that's the same as negative seven. Okay, so it fell seven degrees each hour for five hours. So this is the decrease for each hour. And then there are five hours that it decreases by that amount. So we just multiply negative seven times five. And that's really easy, right? Negative seven times five, we have a negative times a positive, that's negative. Seven times five is 35. So we end up with negative 35. That's gonna be our total decrease in temperature over the five hour period. So I'll just write this out, just the total decrease in temperature. is 35 degrees. Okay. And again, to check something like this, the temperature fell seven degrees Fahrenheit each hour. Okay, so we represent that as negative seven, and it does that for five hours. So it's just negative seven times five. And that's of course just negative 35. 
and then to represent the total decrease in temperature over the five hour period as an integer. We've done that right here. And then I made a nice little, little sentence, which really isn't necessary in, in the context of this question because it just says to represent the total decrease in temperature over the five hour period as an integer. I just wrote this nice little sentence to just be more complete. And again, the total decrease in temperature is 35 degrees Fahrenheit.